The human brain, a marvel of storage and functionality. The human brain is a marvel of nature, a powerhouse of potential waiting to be unleashed with its three-pound mass. It serves as the epicenter of intelligence, the conductor of our senses, and the orchestrator of our every movement and behavior. It is within this intricate organ that our very essence resides, shaping the qualities that define our humanity. In comparison, a memory card, while a technological wonder in its own right, pales in comparison to the boundless capacity of the human brain, where a memory card may falter under the weight of limited space. Our brain thrives on its limitless potential for growth and expansion. Just as a 4 gigabytes memory card cannot contain 8 gigabytes of data, our brains transcend such constraints, continuously adapting and evolving to accommodate the vast expanse of knowledge and experiences we encounter. Yet, like any system, both our brains and memory cards are susceptible to challenges. Just as a virus can impair a memory card's functionality, our brains can be affected by external factors that hinder their optimal performance, factors such as excessive alcohol consumption, poor diet choices, and lack of sleep can diminish our cognitive abilities and impede our capacity to absorb information. However, Unlike a memory card that may succumb to viruses and malfunctions, our brains possess an innate resilience through mindful choices and nurturing practices. We can safeguard and enhance our brain's capabilities. By prioritizing self-care, healthy habits, and continuous learning, we empower ourselves to unlock the full potential of our most precious asset, our extraordinary brains. Let us cherish and nurture this remarkable organ that holds the key to our growth, resilience, and boundless potential. According to National Institute on Drug Abuse NIDA, brain damage is because of dopamine addiction, which is a chemical in your brain that manifests in the pursuit of goals and basically motivates you to do things. Dopamine is known as feel-good neurotransmitter but people use it in excess which damage the brain functionality. The brain releases it when we eat food that we crave, or while we have sex, which contribute to feelings of pleasure and satisfaction as the part of the reward system. Once you use things in excess, you will always pay the price. You can't cheat nature. We are in the stage when dopamine it is taking control of our life. By drinking a lot of alcohol, you are not the one who is making choice. But dopamine is making choice. Alcohol has negative impact to our brain which increase insulin, decrease testosterone and disrupts your sleep pattern. And most flagitious things is that we are not maintaining our brain with good nutrition after. Drinking alcohol. Dopamine detox, a solution for brain development. According to Dr. Cameron Seppa, dopamine detox requires a person to avoid any kind of arousal specifically from pleasure triggers, like social media and sex to focus on important things. Anything which will stimulate dopamine production must be off-limited throughout the detox. It is important to control our dopamine by getting enough sleep, exercising, Listening to music and spending time in the sun with our friends which can all boost dopamine. Levels. Overall, a balanced diet and lifestyle can go a long way in increasing your body's natural production of dopamine and helping your brain function at its best. The impact of good nutrition on brain functionality. According to Mark, Good nutrition can help students to show up at school and prepare to learn. Students are likely to have fewer absences and attend class more frequently. While students can learn better when they're well-nourished and eating healthy meals has been linked to higher grades. Better memory, alertness, and faster information processing. You think what you eat, 
How Nutrition Impacts Your Mental Health According to National Institute on Drug Abuse NIDA, One cannot think well, love well, sleep well, if one has not dined well. Our mental and physical health is as affected by our diets as our views and values are shaped by our experiences. What is the exact connection between nutrition and mental health? No matter how many times we hear the phrase, you are what you eat, it never stops ringing true and never fails to make us think twice about our current diets. But more often than not, when we talk about nutrition in our society, we tend to focus too much on the body image side of the equation. We forget that the imperative to kickstart more healthy eating and living habits is fundamentally about our mental and physical health. Think of it this way. Food is comprised of nutrients that break down to create the energy we need to get us through our day. But more than just energy, our ability to do well relies on how well our brains can actually process how to tackle the day ahead. What makes up our food determines how well a brain can carry out its duties by helping you think. Mental health affects your ability to make rational decisions, function in everyday life, and form just perceptions of the world. It's important to clarify that mental health and mindset are not the same thing. A mindset is based off your own personal beliefs and dictates why you make certain choices. Mental health contributes to the ability to make a choice in the first place. It's proven that dietary patterns impact the quality of your mental health and mind. For instance, after you eat a filet of salmon with vegetables versus a greasy burger, do you feel your mood stagnate or improve? Does the ability to make sound decisions come naturally or with struggle? What about your inclination to absorb new information? Is it easy or difficult? Take amino acids, for example, the essential component that builds protein. The brain requires the supply of amino acids and protein to foster the development of neurotransmitters that communicate signals throughout the nerves to the body. Without a proper amount in our bloodstream, our brains would function at a much slower rate and will be unable to help us perform at our best. If you're having difficulty concentrating, you definitely need to ramp up your consumption of antioxidants and fatty acids. Your brain is 60% fat. It needs regulatory utilization of fatty acids to keep the gears rolling and maintain the integrity of a brain's cell walls. Therefore, you need to continuously promote brain optimality by consuming what makes it properly function in the first place. We all know that eating unhealthily puts you at risk for diabetes, obesity, high cholesterol, and cardiovascular diseases, but eating processed food also contributes to brain damage. The development of mental illnesses and even heavily interferes with cognitive ability. The brain damage comes from digesting too many trans fats that slowly destroy neuronal's communication. Mental illnesses, on the other hand, are developed from a nutrient deficiency in the amino acid tryptophan, which contributes to creating an overall sense of well-being. A lack of tryptophan, therefore, offsets your brain's healthy chemical balance and makes you vulnerable to depression. Lastly, the lack of proper cognitive abilities like learning and memory take a serious hit from junk food, which is often high in refined sugars and low in key vitamins and nutrients. Fuel your brain to be the best that you can be. You get one body in this life, and you need to treat it well. Taking care of it means not only exercising and pampering yourself, but caring about what you eat every day and paying attention to how your mind works. Sometimes the reason why we don't feel at our best can be solved with a simple solution. Eat right with no excuses. 
thank you for watching. Please share your thoughts in the comments section. And remember to subscribe for more insightful content.